For more than 70 summers, this redwood forest in Mendocino County, California, has nurtured many people in many ways. Some people come here to sing. Some come here to play music. Some come to dance. And people of all ages come here to have fun. They come in groups as families and friends to be together and to play together. And when they come, they leave the technologies and the tensions of the modern world behind them to slow down and be refreshed and inspired by nature in a safe and secure setting. If you're hungry for more, say, you know that's right. You, you know that's right. right. All right, let's go swimming. <laughs> for generations, groups have come year after year to enjoy themselves and this protected state park by the banks of the Little North Fork of the Big River. In 2010 alone, people stayed 39,000 camper days, participating in 33 different and very diverse camps. Family camps, spiritual camps, camps for the young and the young at heart, and for those who love the relationship of art and the out of doors. For example, in June 2010, hundreds of people from throughout the nation and around the world came to celebrate the traditions of live music from the Balkans and to renew old ties as they have every year since 1977. Coming back here for 30, 35, 36 years, however long it's been, it's our home now. We, yeah. People can't, wouldn't know what to do if we went somewhere else. Then, in the second week of August 2010, African-American families came to give their children a chance to be free in a natural setting and to sustain a long, unbroken, and cherished heritage that began in 1959 and that's forged close relationships that have spanned the decades. We like to say that uh, the, the trees make up the, are the heart of uh, the Mendocino Woodlands, but Jack and Jill Family Camp is the soul. It's a common experience that we share as a family, that we look forward to every year, and I think it helps connect us with each other. And for 17 years, the California Witch Camp has come to the Mendocino Woodlands for a spiritual retreat. Our belief is that the earth is sacred and that all life is sacred, not just people. And how do we make a lighter footprint on the earth? So to be here for a whole week, it's deeply moving for a lot of people. People just, when they're first time coming down at registration, they go, wow, this place is so incredible. Their faces light up. For all the reasons they come, to get here, every camper leaves the magnificent Mendocino coast and drives inland nine miles. The final three down a dirt road where they find this National Historic Landmark, the Mendocino Woodlands Camp, built by the Civilian Conservation Corps and the Works Progress Administration during the Great Depression. The camp's old and irreplaceable structures remain unchanged. And its original mandate, to bring groups into nature for their health and well-being, continues to this very day. For what it is and what it provides, this camp is literally unique in the West. For many campers, coming here truly is like coming home. It's a legacy and a landmark they want to preserve for generations to come. Well, this is camp is history, and we have to maintain our history. This is something that I hope to do until the day that I die. You, know, you come up to Mendocino Woodlands and spend it a week. It's the best time of my life. Walk with me, buddy. I'm coming. It's, it's special and dear to all of our hearts. Uh, it's so special to me, like I said, uh, around this time every year, I just kind of feel it in the air. It's like it's time to go to camp. The longer I spend down here, the more stories I hear 
of how this camp transformed, totally transformed people's lives. And I've been down here with families that are third, fourth generation, and they all tell me similar stories. Oh, deep in this dense forest of majestic redwoods, you'll find a living treasure of American history, the Mendocino Woodlands Camp. That was built in the darkness of the Great Depression, but it's given light and joy to many thousands of people in many ways and for many generations, and it will for generations to come if we care for the camp the way it's cared for us. Summer campers began coming to the Mendocino Woodlands in 1938. First operated by the National Park Service, it was later passed to the state of California. And since 1949, it's been managed for state parks by a nonprofit organization, the Mendocino Woodlands Camp Association. Its executive director since 1999 has been Don Taylor. We operate the park. We uh, raise all the money for the restoration. Uh, we get no government assistance. We're one of the few nonprofits that never needs to ask for money in order to operate. So our entire operating budget is paid for by camper fees, people coming here to use the park. Seven. No, not nine. Summertime campers fees also pay for something else, a highly regarded week-long residential outdoor science school known as Ross. Operated by the Mendocino Woodlands Camp Association during the school year, the Ross program serves hundreds of students from throughout Northern California, many from inner city schools whose students would otherwise have little or no access to nature. Prices are kept very low for the schools, but the gains are very high for the children as they learn about the environment and how to work together. Oh my gosh, what kind of lizard is that? It's an it's alligator lizard. It's a northern alligator lizard. Sure. Uh, our busy lives outside are on hold and we get to focus in on, on uh, our relationships with one another and our relationship to, to nature. We're hoping that if they learn those kinds of skills, then they'll be more apt to work together to take care of our planet. So we're, we're trying to create good citizens for, for the Earth. We're talking in general about the estuary and the plants and animals that live in the estuary. With their fees funding this extraordinary environmental education program, summertime campers actually have three camps to choose from in this 700-acre state park. Camp 1 is the largest, with room for 200 people. Its dining hall is spacious. Its dance hall is the focal point for all kinds of activities. And its cabins have fine stone fireplaces and balconies to look out on the surrounding forest. Nestled by the gentle stream, Camp 2 can host 130 people. Its cabins are screened in, some with porches, and its dining hall is a prime gathering place. Camp 3 is smaller and features tent cabins on wooden platforms. Its dining hall, like all the buildings here, was built in the 1930s and has served tens of thousands of people ever since. This is a labor of love because this is something that's been going on for 50 years. I'm going to make sure it goes on 50 more years. And uh, when families come up and can uh, enjoy themselves and, and have fun and see their kids have fun, you know, then that means that this camp will continue on for another 50 years because there are not very many things that go on for that long a period of time. In our fast-changing world, there's a timelessness in the Mendocino woodlands that those who know it the best and love it the most are dedicated to saving and to passing on. I hope it's always here. For me personally, this camp was here when I was coming into adulthood. And I'm going to cry again, and it did great things for me. I have found myself with this community in this place. I hope, I hope, I hope Max can get the same thing here. The campers and the camp association are working hard to find the money to restore this important piece of our national history. With a little financial help from all of us, too, music will continue to break out spontaneously for years to come in the kitchen of Camp One. Children will play low-tech games in the old dance hall and return someday with children of their own. And generations of students will learn about nature 
and become good stewards of the planet. The Mendocino Woodlands State Park has taken care of us for a very long time, and now it's our chance to take care of it, a landmark worth restoring, a legacy worth preserving. If you'd like to help restore the Mendocino Woodlands State Park, contact us at mendocinowoodlands.org or call 707-964-7944.